And hello, everybody. Welcome to the first recording in a very long time on this channel. So, we're doing a Pyrana review here. Uh, good to know, but what the fuck does that even mean? Well, it means that we're going to be reviewing this piece of shit in my hands right here. So, what is Pyrana good for? Pyrana is good for almost everything. You can get up close to people and use it as a proper fucking shotgun. You can un unload on heavily armored targets like that napalm over there, but what you can't do is fight alone. What the fuck do I mean by that? I'm doing that right now. Or does that mean that I'm being stupid? Yeah, it does. It synergizes really well with this particular ability, actually. Because you knock them out and then you can just unload into a crowd. It's quite useful, actually. So, what 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 exactly is Pyrana? Pyrana is an automatic shotgun in pistol form. Does that mean that it's like Euphona? Because Euphona is sort of an automatic shotgun. No. It is a lot faster and has a higher recoil than any other weapon that I have yet witnessed in this game. But, you c the thing about Pyrana is it is highly versatile. You can use it as a, as a regular shotgun instead of an automatic one and just do high damage shots all the time. High damage shots, you could probably even find a mod that lowers the fire rate in exchange. Probably a um, corrupted mod, too. Or, you can use it how I intend to use it once I get an Orkin Catalyst in here, and have a high fire rate and low recoil mod in there, and a couple damage mods so that it's not the most damaging thing in the world see I can't take out a freaking napalm with it but it can still get the job done but when you just unload on an enemy and no doubt I'll have a magazine capacity mod as well you have a weapon that's capable of taking down high health foes and dealing with crowds it's also good for stealth missions if you attach a hush mod to it. Like I said, it's a highly versatile mod. It has a decent amount of starting damage, and its range isn't the worst thing in the world. It could be improved, and I'm sure there's an accuracy mod out there for me somewhere. But all things considered, I like getting in close range engagements, and if I'm going to be in a high distance engagement it doesn't matter all that much either because, again, it is an automatic weapon, so I can unload a fire... A decent number of shots in a small amount of time, therefore reducing the actual impact of the spread of the shotgun. Oh, I hate catching fire. Napalms are my least favorite enemies to fight against, and my favorite to fight fight alongside. Because they have shit tons for health. And they do ridiculous amounts of damage. Bombards are nice, but napalms can put lasting damage on you. One right like that. Oh, that one doesn't work. Alright, well then one right like that. There we go. There's four dash wires down. Anyway. So, there's multiple ways that you can build this weapon. It has a high amount of crit chance and a decent amount of status chance. Not the best status chance, but enough to make it reasonable that unloading a clip will earn you at least one proc. If not two. The weapon is, like I said, versatile. It has good factors in 
all ranges. And one of the thoughts that occurred to me is a prime on this weapon could literally not be fucked up in any way just because all of the stats are good. Coolio, mission complete. So anyway, um, that's about my review on Pyrano. So what are, what are my final thoughts on the weapon? Um, Sortie ready, only with Orc and Catalyst installed. Um, maybe a Forma could help to get you there, but you'd need a lot of Formas in that case. I say just go straight for the Orc and Catalyst and maybe one or two Formas. That way you have the extra space on top of the reduced... Um, like input from all of the mods that you have to put in there you do have to put a fair number of damage mods in it though i would say have at least one high level serration mod or a multi-shot mod multi-shot is also very good for it since it is a shotgun so that would increase the number of pellets coming out of it therefore making it more effective so that's my review of pyrana um it's a really good weapon and I think it's one of the better weapons in the entire game once you know how to use it. If you try to just use it as like a proper shotgun, just get up close to enemies and fire one shot into them, it's not going to work out as well for you as if you use it as it was designed, which is an automatic shotgun. So I would say don't go straight for the damage. Have some damage in there, but primarily focus on getting the recoil down fire rate up and reload speed up aside from that it's up to you what to do with this either way it is an extremely powerful weapon and can be effective in the correct hands